Hello and welcome. My name is Moran Tue and I'm here with a, you know what, no, it's, it's not a Let's Play. Um, this is more of a learning experience, primarily for me, hopefully for you. Um, Feed the Beast recently released their very first 164 pack for Minecraft. Um, the pack they put out was called Horizon. It features a bunch of mods that maybe you haven't heard of before, some of you might have. Um, it's got things like Metallurgy 3, Aquaculture, Witchery, Blood Magic, Archimedes ships. There's a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, it also has Thermal Expansion 3, Ars Magica 2, and Thawcraft 4 for um, ones you might be a little bit more familiar with. Um, on the whole, the pack is made up of mods that you probably haven't experienced. I know that I have a passing familiarity with some of them, but I can't really say that I know them terribly well. Um, so I want to remedy that, and part of the way I'm doing that is I'm going to try to see some of these mods that people for one reason or another usually pass over or they just don't get enough attention. Um, and I figured the best way to do this was to just dive headfirst into a new world on the Horizon pack. Um, before I get started it is important to note that I did make two changes to the pack. By default when you get the pack it has Blood Magic and Archimedes ships disabled. I have re-enabled both of them. Um, I will also not be using the alternate terrain generator mod that's been supplied. I just personally don't like it. It makes it a pain in the butt to find certain biomes. Um, so we'll just be using regular biomes aplenty. So let's go ahead and create a world here. All right, new world, um, new horizon. Zuh. All right, survival, good. Biomes aplenty, structures on, cheats off, chest off and create world. Alright, um, so when we go ahead and get in here I'm just going to take a quick look around to get a feeling for the landscape we're in. I'm not going to bore you by recording the actual process of setting up my first little home and stuff. Um, I'm actually going to just explore a little bit, see what we have, and then I'll cut back to a video once I have established myself a little bit better. Alright, see what we have here. Um, one of the first things you're probably going to notice is that the mini-map we have on here is a little bit different than what you're used to. This is Map Writer. It's actually really neat. We can go ahead and open it up real quick. The thing that sp differs Map Writer from anything like, say, Ray's mini-maps or the Voxel mini-map, this actually saves a map to your computer. So when you're somewhere else, you can actually drag the map over and look at the landscape. So it makes it much easier finding your way around if you mark something by landscape or if you've just remembered the general area it's at. It makes it so much easier. Um, it also, if you notice on the bottom here, as you mouse over parts of the maps, it will tell you what biome it is. And that looks like there's a structure over there. Looks like a house. Um, so we have some extreme hills over here, a river, a desert, taiga, jade cliffs, jungle. Cherry Blossom Grove, Mortaiga, Sacred Springs. All right, so this actually looks like a fairly good area. Um, I don't want to settle here though, because that looks like it might have either a bit of taint or that is um, an eerie biome caused from uh, Thumbcraft 4. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and probably, off, I think I'll probably just do the jungle here. This looks like a good area. Um, first though, I want to go see what this house is. So let's go ahead and get going. Should be right back this way. All right. All right. If you notice, there's a bunch of little plants on the ground. This is from agriculture. All right. So I just hit it. Didn't do anything. Might not be ready. Or do we have anything to break it? Just a plant back. I think moving the wrong way. No, I'm going the right way. All right. All right. There's a cave down there. I don't want to get stuck in there, sucked down there yet. Oh my God, that's a huge tree. All right. I think that is a, a sacred oak over there. So many freaking plants. Okay, this. Alright, 
what are the lotuses used for? Alabaster white glows, closes in low light. Oh, that's neat. Um, let's see, usage. It's made to make dye. And it can be melted for lava, that's a bit odd. Alright, so it's primarily dying. Ah, before we get too far into here. We just don't recipe mode. Alright. So whatever that structure was, it was over here. It's a house! Oh, neat, what the heck is this? Just a house with a chest. That's interesting. You know what? I think I'm I'm think I'm gonna be a moocher and I think I'm gonna steal the house. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get a way to get in here. Chop up some cherry wood. Alright. Oh wow, that looks awesome. Oh, and there's a village over there? Oh yeah, this place is looking better all the time. Oh, and there's a skeleton. Thank you, Sheepy. Oh, you okay, Sheepy? Oh. Hmm, you know what? I need a bed. can't die the first episode that would be really bad <laughs> all right so we have a few things here these are the uh, desert novas from Ars Magica and we have some cinder pearls from Dawncraft good early source of blaze powder all right and here is an unfortunate cow dying in quicksand <laughs> all right so let's see what we can pillage from the village I hope they have potatoes I hear you can do many things with potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Alright. It's a nice little sandstone building. Get some books from here. Hmm. That's odd. Place didn't quite generate right, it looks like. Oh, we got potatoes. Alright. Let's go ahead and get some potatoes. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replant what I take. Just you know, just because I'm stealing their stuff, I don't need to steal everything. Eventually I'll steal everything, but I don't need to. Alright, we got any other buildings here perhaps? I have a chest. Ooh, that's a, um, from Tinker's Construct. Alright, so what we got here? Oh yeah, we have some nice parts for tools. I'm not too sure that I can actually use most of this. Um, I'll take the axe head bit, though, and the shovel head. Oh, yes, full guard. Okay, so I can make myself a... Uh, yes, very good. Um, so let's go ahead and just take the sword blade pattern, the pick, the axe... Hey guys. All right. All right, and we're also going to steal the uh, carpet. I mean, wool.
you know that was really stupid. I need wood. I don't know what I was doing. All right. Let's go ahead and make a pick. We're going to be taking the piston. We're going to take the ladders. We're also going to be taking the uh, Tinker's Construct stuff here. But we will not be taking those the pattern chest because I don't need repeats for most of these. Alright, so I got the pickhead, I got don't need the chisel. Got the sword blade, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, uh let's take the crossbar. Alright, so it's getting dark here and I don't want to die on my first day in the world, so let's go ahead and make a bed. And I am quickly running out of inventory space. What I can do is I can go ahead and make a shovel real quick. Says, no, I want the tool station. Alright, so now even though the recipe for a shovel calls for a tool rod, you can actually just use a stick. So it's just a bronze shovel head with a stick. It's going to be a nice reinforced shovel. And that will also work for a axe if I had another stick. All right, let's go ahead and sleep the night away. Wild bamboo shoot. All right, this is from Harvestcraft. Uh, Harvestcraft adds a ton more plants and stuff to the game of varying types, anywhere from, say, bamboo shoots there over to, say, grapes. In general, it's just a ton of stuff, many things to grow and different foods to make. And I am already lost. This is not a good sign. Alright. So this is where I want to go, right over here. Oh. We can go ahead and send a marker. Let's go for, uh, home. Sure, we'll call it group group. <laughs> um. Okay, that's awesome. So what I just did is I assumed a assigned a group called bases which will have currently my home in it oh i don't want to do that all right so let's go options mob colors auto oh that's really neat all right so let's just go ahead and go home which is over to the uh north oh there it is on the map you see the little red dot the only thing I kind of miss is this doesn't actually have a little overlay on the map saying what the name of the waypoint is, and how are you not dead, cow? Alright, I can't, I can't stand to see it like this. We're going to uh, help. Well, help in quotes, anyway. Oh, right, so he didn't die yet because it wasn't enough to suffocate him, just trap him. The only thing worse than quicksand is trolley quicksand. I don't know what I'll need that for later, but I want it. Alright, I don't want you cinnamon. Uh, I do want the bones. I don't really need the river cane. I think that can be used as a stick. Oh, see this thing right here? This I think this is avocados? No, drum. What? Alright, so this is from Harvestcraft as well. Normally if something is in season you could harvest it right from the tree. Though this tree looks really weird straddling a uh, biome here. I really like these cherry trees. Hello cows, chicken, sheep. All right, making progress. That really does look awesome. That tree is huge. Oh, just fell down. 
Okay, so we got some uh, reeds over here for later. Let's make some sugar cane. There's a bunch of stuff in the world. I do like that. Most of this is from uh, biomes of plenty, but you are seeing some stuff from agriculture and harvest craft. All right, where am I? It's over this way. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is rather than have a staircase that mobs can follow me up here, I think I'm just gonna build a ladder to a little platform. All right. Luckily, we managed to steal some ladders. Boop, 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 and bye. All right, and we'll use some cherry wood. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Oh, food and some spruce wood, how thankful. How thoughtful. Alright, so right now this place doesn't look like much. It's just a little one-off house, but we're going to go ahead and expand on this a little bit. Um, I will be back after I push this wall out some, so I have a nicer place to set up. It's probably going to be recessed into the uh, little hill over here a little bit, but that'll be okay. So I've uh, managed to put an hour to, actually, I'll, I'll be honest, I've spent the better part of the evening just messing around with the house. Um, so I've managed to actually expand this out a little bit. So it's a fairly decent size now. It's uh, recessed into the hillside. And we have a nice little staircase here going down into the basement work area, which also exits to the ground floor of the uh, forested bit. So it's fairly nice. Um, and I have gotten to start doing some basic usage of some of the mod stuff. The main thing that I've done is make these uh, lockers from better storage. Um, so right now to store anything I pretty much have two choices. I could use better storage as a solution. No, I take it back. I have three. I can use vanilla chests, better storage, or I could use the metal chests from metallurgy. The problem for metallurgy or the chests from uh, better storage is I don't have any metals at the moment. I just have a little bit of tin, which is uh, right there. So my next goal is to go mining and to actually get some resources so I can start building some stuff and fill the space up. Uh, these uh, lockers right here, let's go ahead and hit that. They're made just using seven pieces of planks and a trapdoor, and they're fairly nice. Um, they stack on top of each other and they end up being a tall double chest and depending how you face them will depend which way they open. I love that these things, I really do love that these things open. It's, it's so awesome. That you can't tell through the UI, but they do. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go mining. I have a basic Tinker's Construct pick here. Some torches, a little bit of food, some dirt for platforms if I need it, and a tool station. Um, basically, I'm just going to be able to repair my pick while I'm on the go with cobblestone, since it's made out of cobblestone. And I should be able to turn that cobblestone into stone rods to make torches. So it should be a fairly good trip. We'll go ahead and come back after we get everything sorted out and get a little bit more materials. All right, then I'm back from a little mining excursion there. Unfortunately, it was not terribly profitable. I did get a bit of iron, which is good, a little bit of copper, but I have almost no tin except for what I found on that ravine earlier. Um, did get a lot of cobblestone, though, so there's that at least. I mean, it's not like you can get this just from mixing water and lava or something. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started with metallurgy, and what I'm going to make is something called a crusher. It's a really easy early form of ore duplication to get two dusts out of one ore. Um, it runs off of coal, so it's not terribly efficient, but considering how few tin I have, I want to make sure that I can at least get the most out of it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this stone crusher over here, which I can then upgrade to a copper crusher. Anyway, so I need a furnace, four cobblestone, and four sticks. Luckily we have the cobblestone to spare. Alright, so we get the furnace. These river canes should substitute as sticks. 
or not? For everything but this. Or did I do it backwards? No. Nope. Alright, so it looks like even though these do work for sticks for a lot of recipes, they don't work for this one. Luckily, we should have some wood in here somewhere. There we go. There we go, get the right materials and it actually works. Okay, so we have a stone crusher here. Um, I don't plan on running this as a stone crusher too terribly long because it's just going to chew through coal or wood or whatever I use to fuel it. Um, what I'm going to do is give it just enough to crush some copper so I can make a copper one. Alright, and to make the copper one, where is it? It's right over here. I'm going to need eight copper ingots. So we're just going to go ahead and do four of these. Now this might take a while. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started and make a you know, if I was smart, I would have made a, where is it, copper furnace as well. Alright, let's get another four. That can wait. Alright. Alright, so it looks like it's getting ready to get dark, and I'm hearing zombies already, so we're going to go ahead and skip ahead and sleep till the night is done. Alright, and welcome back. Um, so I decided just to go ahead and make a steel crusher. It was actually rather cheaper than I thought to make. Uh, once we got up to the, let's see, to the bronze furnace here, it was just a matter of using 16 iron to make the uh, steel. Since in this particular mod pack, you're able to actually smelt the iron in a furnace into steel, thanks to the mod artifice. Where is it? There we go. Iron ingot and smelting into steel. It's actually really easy to make, and I think I might use that later for some uh, Tinker's Construct tools, because steel's pretty good material to use. Alright, now let's see how quick this thing is. Let's go ahead and get our ores. And there's a zombie. It's not amazingly fast, but it's a lot better than the uh, Stone Crusher was, for sure. I will take it. The main thing is it seems much more fuel efficient. Yeah, that is way more fuel efficient. Oh, it's an angry zombie. my house. I have got to get some lights out there. That place is a death trap. There's another zombie over here. Oh, it's an angry villager zombie. above using my door as a zombie stopper. See, that's really neat. The flower actually closes at night. That's actually, that's pretty freaking awesome. Alright, how are we doing so far? 16. Alright, so basic goal for this was to get everything smelted ready to go. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a probably a bronze furnace to go along with this. Um, failing that, I think that's good enough for today. Uh, my next goal is to actually get some actual iron tools and stuff, maybe a little bit of armor, because I saw a lot of materials down in the mine I wasn't able to get using my stone pick. 
Um, we'll be back next time, hopefully to create some, hopefully to make a smeltery as well, because I, I gotta have my tinker stools. Failing that, I need to at least find some of the higher tier materials from metallurgy, because iron will not do. I need better. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good evening.